All right. What do you got, big fella? Uh, my topic just says I'm going to quit. What are you going to quit? The podcast. Oh, okay. Well, see you later. Couch guy, you ready? Seats warm. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. I, I, I didn't know what to talk about on hour one. So that's why I just put I'm going to quit. Well, this is hour two. That's why I meant hour mm-hmm. two. So I didn't really have a topic. But then I think I'm going to snowball on this. I'm really going to go for it. Okay. I think I'm going to quit getting drunk. As often as I used to. Have all my rowdy friends all settled down? Because it's time. Mm. You know what I mean? At the ripe old age of 37. I think you get to a point Mm -hmm. where you do... Occasionally, you got to tie one. I haven't been drunk for what? We're getting to a month now, probably. Well, you haven't been drinking. When did I camp in the basement? What episode was that? That was before the new year. Yeah. No. It was January. Mm, okay, maybe it was. Yeah. Wasn't it? I, I was, was thinking you hadn't had any this year yet. No. You didn't drink New Year's Eve. Huh? You didn't drink New Year's Eve. No, because I didn't. Oh, because I couldn't. Because you were in trouble for camping in the basement. No, that's wrong. I was in trouble for camping in the basement after New Year's Eve. Okay. But either way. And then another thing that we could snowball off of that is it's Lent time. Mm -hmm. It's Lent Lent time. This is is the Lenten season. So what are you going to quit during Lent? I know you're not a – well, Lutheran's – we can do it. You know, they, I, I believe that uh, you're not. Now, uh, by golly, I'm no uh, 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 expert source on Now, I know we're not supposed Jesus. to talk about religion, but can we talk no, about yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can. But what I mean is I believe that you are one of the things about Lent is it's supposed to be something that you uh, don't necessarily talk about. Like, you, you shouldn't be doing it to... No, I think you're supposed to give up something to you're right. make you a better Christian. Right. So, but part of that is to not make a point of it. Not boast? It, it, boast is a strong word, but I believe it's one of those things that if uh, uh, you get to talking about it, like, yeah, that's what I'm doing, and this is, you know, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, it's, it's not really, it's almost, ah, I'm going to get roasted on the internet. No, but to your but point, I believe there's, there's something about it to where it's supposed to be something that you are suffer might be the wrong word, but that you're dealing with internally. <clears throat> are you solely by tell yourself? What you give up for Lent? I'm not a good typer, typer man. Mm-hmm. And I could be way off base, but I was thinking it was something. Uh, mm. The Lord does warn us not to perform our acts of sacrifice or charity in a public manner in order to receive praise for that. So I don't know um, how the Lutherans do it, but when you get into the uh, gospel reading on Ash Wednesday, I believe it comes from Mark. Whenever they say, remember that you are dust. Until dust, you shall return. Do they say that? Yeah. But what I'm saying is, in the Catholic faith, there's a gospel reading. Can you imagine how smeared that would be on David's forehead? <sighs> the ashes. Or it would be a, used as putty to fill in that hole on the side of his head. Well, I mean, it'd be like it. Yeah. No joke. The, the pastor would go in for that first yeah, and just swipe. Boom. Like, oh, shit. Look like a Nike check Slick on his forehead. right out of there. But it, the, the reading that it associates with it talks about, you know, you're not supposed to let the left hand know what the right hand's doing. And it talks about the hypocrites that, uh, that when they, because they say when you fast, you should anoint your face with oil. And mm-hmm. those that stand out on the temple steps, they've received their prize and then the almsgiving and that, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I think that it's, you're right. There's a a section of that kind of Lenten season that's something that you need to hold we true to a, you. We should have had Pastor Dan on. Mm-hmm. See the Come guy on, at St. James? Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's a podcaster. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's 
a fan of our podcast? No, he well, listens, yes, but, but he, he is a, he has his own, own podcast. podcast. So he's really going to be upset that a couple members of the old flock over here. Well, you kind of no, you're Stendale. I'm, I'm a Stendale. Yeah, abstaining yeah. from certain favorite foods or hobbies, making an effort to do more good deeds, read the Bible or devotional, or begin other positive habits. Ellie came home with a crown made of play doh and pretzel sticks from religion and i think it has i don't know if it has 40 sticks in it or not you know sim, uh, symbolizing the days of lent because lent is what 40 days mm-hmm. and it says you're supposed to every time she does a good deed <coughs> there it was every time she does a good deed mm, lung butter too mm. there it was <coughs> chewy one Shut up. Every time. That one just got me. I don't know. Like why? It. Did you see it? Yep. You did see it. A little bit. Oh, yeah. I see. That's why I had to suck it back in there. Ah, gosh dang it. Let's just go on with the 40 days. <laughs> yeah. The God, you're a pussy. <laughs> ah, dang. How do you butcher hogs if you can't look at a damn Colby hacker? It's it, it's, a, it's uh, the terminology. Uh, it's, 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 uh, we, uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Dad calls them Kobe cheese hackers because they're all different colors, you know. That's why. <laughs> uh, oh. But every time she does a good thing, she's supposed to pluck one of them pretzel sticks out of the crown. And How's she doing? Well, she's doing really well. Actually, good. she takes that shit pretty serious. But uh, as all, you know, hmm. 10-year-olds or 8-year-olds should do. But I don't know. I think that's a cool, 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 cool idea. But, uh, I mean, you know, the getting down on, like, the Fish Fridays, I mean that's that's a little too much. You don't abstain from meat. It's a little too much for me, you know, on the Friday thing there, you know. But uh, I mean, I do like a good fish fry. Don't get me wrong. But if yeah. somebody's going to fry bacon for breakfast, I'm probably not going to say no. Just because I'm not like a real <laughs> Catholic, you know what I mean. So, but do Lutherans have an abstinence from meat? I ought to know the no, answer way better, no. but I don't believe so. No, there's some of the traditionals in the Catholic faith that. Even outside of Lent, don't eat meat on Fridays. Well, not only do they not eat meat on Fridays, according to the Bible and according to true blue real Catholics, and I don't know if the priests do this or not, but they, they like full-blown fast the whole day. Like they, they don't... On Fridays during Lent? Yeah. Yeah, like they, I they, could imagine they, they that. They fast like the whole day. Yeah. Yeah. I try to do that about once every two weeks. Don't eat nothing for Instead 24 of, hours? Yeah, at least 24. That's stupid. Oh, it makes me feel better. That's good for you. Well, I just personally think that's pretty dumb. But I mean, like the intermittent fasting, you know, where you could, you know, go that like that. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A little sixteen eight there. Is that what it is? Do Lutherans not? We're googling the hell out of here. It says uh, there are absolutely no dietary restrictions in the Lutheran interpretation of Christianity. So therefore, we do. Yeah, they don't. It doesn't matter. You can eat them. But I do like a good fish fry. Uh, last, um, I think it was Ash Wednesday, the Friday after that, the first actual Lenten Friday, I made a completely meatless pasta that the warden, you know, she showed me that about uh, feta cheese, tomatoes, garlic, and olive oil. Bake it all up, and then you mix a uh, bow tie pasta in there. And it's actually freaking good, really good, but... <laughs> yeah, here we go. I'm f- quitting. That's what my topic was. Are you just in a bad space mentally, pal? Uh, I mean, I, I I'm getting ready to have surgery on Wednesday. I mean, I, I could die. You know what I mean? So yeah, you're not gonna die, buddy. I know, but I mean, you could. You know, you there's a risk in that every time they tell you that. Make you sign a paper and everything. But um, so they made me sign a paper and they just put stitches in. So here's the real right, question. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Would you want us to go on without you? Yeah, or? 100%. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You got this dipshit back here just chomping at the bit to get in. There's not a chance. He just blur his face out. What if he, he would get canceled immediately? What if he was in the, what if the last thing you saw as he put you under is his face peek over and say, night, night, Zach, and then it's just ball game Adios, over. Adios, MFR. You know what I mean? <laughs> like something like that. Like, or like Rocco said on the uh, Boondock Saints. Get you on the flip side. Yeah. You know, one of those deals. I don't know. No, I just, I don't know. Like, I, I want, 
I guess the health fair and those grim numbers, I, I wasn't going to give them any bait, but I guess I got to give them a little bait. You don't have to. No, it's like my sugar was a little high. Shocker. My cholesterol's high. Shocker. You know what I mean? But like. Yeah. So that's what my, my sugar was like. No, it wasn't. It was 115 or 118. And 125, I think, is when they start giving you the medication for diabetes. What was your A1C? <laughs> we'll have to. I don't know what that the is guy, the, the guy that takes his uh, sugar. He said a while ago, he's like, "Yeah, I'm running a little hot tonight." I said, "What's that?" He's like, "I don't know, probably about three and a quarter." <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, "Son of a bitch, <laughs> fried chicken you're, over there!" You're what? Running, you're running a little rich, you know. So he uh, dialed up the old shooter and, and banged one there. But I just, yeah, we're not like that's. I mean, uh, yeah, like we're not there yet. I think the drinking's bad for the diet. It is 100 percent in our diet. Yeah, lack of exercise, and another thing, the shit that we eat is is ugh, trash. I ate like an entire bag of nerd clusters the other day, just because I could. You know what? Hey, I mean? nerd clusters are a big. They are the firest ass cam bet. You've never had whatever. nerd clusters? Oh, stupid! So the kids in the office introduced stupid them. Stupid head. And Sam's Club sells them. You remember nerd ropes, couch guy? It, it's like literally you take a nerd rope and cut it into fucking pieces and there's your nerd clusters yeah and then there's like nerds on the outside of the rope well i guess the ropes nerd ropes identically too. to what i just described yeah yes well i thought the nerd rope no it, it's just similar but it's i was yeah yeah we're you're in there yeah um and but they in the office like we've bought i've bought i'll buy uh sam's club sells like the big bags and I'll bring them in, and they'll last maybe oh, nerd clusters. Yeah, yeah two I'm weeks. Telling you, dude, they're good. And you just eat them by a handful, oh, and it's yeah. just <laughs> like it is. It hits the spot Give it when what you they want, want, baby. Give yeah, them what they want. Just grab them by a handful. But yeah, no, I just I don't know. Like that was that's kind of what I, like I'm gonna quit eating like shit. I got I I have to, you know. And it's like so a local Holland resident mm. has jumped on board. Fan of the show as well. Uh, not going to describe him to a T where we know who he is, though, Dave. He started the carnivore diet, mm -hmm. and he's been on it for a while now, he said. And he goes, it's it's unreal. Night and day difference. I was like, well, you had any blood work done yet? He's like, not yet. It's coming up because I'll be." he said he'd be interested to see what his numbers are. But he was just he was just talking about. You know, he doesn't feel like he's got more. He's got, he feels like he has more energy. He feels better. He doesn't feel like we're bogged. He's bogged down. I think a lot of our problem is that enriched flour that's utilized in all the breads and the buns, and it's the folic acid. I read a study because they're talking about this increase in colon cancer of people that are mm -hmm. younger than us. Of how it is, like it's an alarming rate of what's going on. Almost everything we eat that is white bread or bread in general, folic acid in it, and it you can't your body can't digest it. I think is what basically the and now when they say they did this with lab mice and all that other stuff, they're injecting them sons of bitches like there's no tomorrow, but. There's some dietitians and researchers that are so saying I thought there was more to the uh, <clears throat> the the carnivore diet, but yeah, it it's says meat. yeah, all plant foods from your diet. It, you got to eliminate all plant foods from your diet. Except all fruits, all anything that could have a because carbs are all like carbs are like it's the sugar breakdown too. You're supposed to exclusively eat meat, fish, eggs. Small amounts of low lactose dairy products, beef, chicken, pork, lamb, turkey, organ meats, salmon, sardines, white fish, and small amounts of heavy cream or hard cheese. Cheese. Yeah. So, like, you would, you would, uh, yeah, like, just get a, uh, a whole ass block of cheese. It says, uh, you know, experts can't recommend the heart the carnivore diet. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I think I would miss salads, though. I, I do like a salad with a carrot. Uh, you know, some tomatoes and. Uh, I believe that's what you were making when we stopped by Friday evening. Yeah, it was, and then with a big chef salad, Italian dressing is what I've been on lately. 
Like with the oil and the I zest. dipped my toes into a little bit of a uh, kind of like a uh, cranberry. Uh, Yuck. Vinaigrette? No, a raspberry. It's kind of like a raspberry vinaigrette. But it's not a vinaigrette. Okay. It's weird. How so, do you guys eat just dry salads? Never. Never in my really? life. No. That's the uh, weirdest thing I've ever heard. Like if it's a Why don't you go out in the, gra- in the yard and fucking get yeah. you a handful of grass? Like if I take a salad to work, I don't take dressing. I just take like a bag of salad and eat it. <laughs> oh my Dave's God. sitting in his cubicle with his hand. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just take like a bag of steamed uh, broccoli for lunch. Yeah. And then what? Eat it froze? <laughs> No, I do my shit's hard. <laughs> Go break your teeth, Dave. <laughs> no, Dave, I don't think I've ever seen. I, I mean, I don't. I now, have you ever had a wedge salad? No. Oh yeah, those are good. But I put dressing <clears throat> on them. Mm. Really dried, like just plain ass lettuce. Like you know the bags of pre made yeah, yeah, salad. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's got the red cabbage, some carrot slices, mm-hmm, shit mm-hmm. like that. You take that and you cut the top off of it, and then you stab it with a fork and eat it out of the bag mm-hmm. with no dress. What's it like to have no joy in your life? <laughs> I mean, I made it this long. Jeez Louise, bud. I mean, I, I, I mean, sure. I mean, whatever. But no, I have never done that. No. Okay. I didn't know you had that much in common with rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I had. Let's eat better and uh, not be fat and die early.